everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how the workspaces or layouts function inside of Premiere Pro. You can access those options in two different spots. At the top here, you have your window drop down, and you can go into workspaces and access them here. And there's also this spot right up here in the top right hand corner, just above your program monitor. You can click on this and this will also access the same menu. So this one might be a little bit quicker because you can just click on it, it pops up and when you and when you click on a window, you have to actually go into your workspaces. So it stay it's so it actually does save one step. So I'm gonna click on this here, and you have all these different arrangements here. What this does is it arranges all your windows in a different uh, in a different pattern. It depends on what type of process you are in in the post-production process here. The default layout is your editing layout here. And that's where you have these four windows open. You have, you have your project window, you have your source window, you have your timeline window, and you have your program window. So you have those four major workspaces open. If I go up to the workspace menu tab here and we click on assembly, it has a completely different layout. With this layout here, I like this for organizing my media because it gives a lot more space to your media media tab over here, to your project tab. Now, if I hit shift one, two, three, four, it will jump through my four main workspaces, but now it is sharing the same space up here for my source monitor and for my program monitor. So if I hit shift one, it jumps to my project window. Shift two will jump to my source window. Once again, it's shared with my program window. You can go up here and click on either one of these. If I jump to shift three, it jumps to my timeline. And if you play something in your timeline, right now I'm seeing my source window, but if I play, press play in my timeline, it'll automatically jump to my program window. Because the program window is, is the window that is viewing your timeline, where it shows wherever your playhead is on your timeline. So this is a little bit more of a condensed, compressed space that gives you more space for your project window, which is nice. As you get to different stages in editing, you can drop down your workspaces here and you can go to color and color will arrange the windows for color grading. It will give you this elementary color panel on the side and then you have your scopes over here while you're doing your adjustments for color grading. If you go to effects, it optimizes your window layout for doing effect work and the same if you're doing audio and so on. Let me go back to the editing space here. And one thing that you can do is you can rearrange windows here. So if you grab a tab here and you drag it, you can rearrange these things. You can place them in different spots. You can place them in any one of these windows here and it will open it up as a tab in that window there. So if I drag, drag it over the program window and I hover over this, I hover over this and hold it there. It, we have this blue square in the middle, this blue rectangle in the middle. We have these kind of trapezoid shapes right here on the side, on the, on the bottom, right, top like that. So what happens is if you place it in the middle right here, so I'm holding on to my timeline tab here and now I'm gonna let go. It's going to place it over that window right there. And since I was hovering over the program window, I have these tabs. I have the tab of the program window and the tab of my timeline window now. If I grab this and detach it again, and I hover over the square again, uh, it'll just leave it right there, it does nothing. So if I grab it and I move it up to one of these trapezoid shapes here, and I let go, it drops it on top. It basically pancakes those two items right there. So now I have my baby monitor on top of my program monitor, on top of my program monitor. Let's put that back to normal. And if I grab it and drop it on the bottom, it puts it on the bottom. If I grab it and drag it to the left, it puts them side by side. And if I grab it and drag it to the right, it puts it on the right. Now, if you get a layout that you don't like, you can go up and you can pull your menu down. And right now I'm still under the editing layout, but I've changed the nature of my editing layout. Say I want to get it back to all the way it was uh, previously. I'm going to scroll down almost to the bottom here and hit reset to save layout. And it will reset that layout to its original editing layout. And now it's back to normal. Where this dragging tab thing comes in handy, let's say I have a couple timelines open. Let me open up another timeline. So now I have these two timelines opened up here. And if you want to see those at the same time, you can do what's called pancaking or stacking them. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom here and put it, drop it on the bottom, on the bottom trapezoid there, let go, and it stacks so I have two timelines open. If you want them side by side, you can do the same thing. Let me put that back in the center there. We can grab this and drag it to the right and drop it right there. And now I have two side by side timelines. And if you want to toggle between those two, you can hit shift three and it toggles between your two timelines. If you have three timelines open, shift three will toggle between all three of them. So just kind of a quick way of being able to operate out of different timelines there. Now you can resize windows here by go going in between on these little thin lines right here and you grab them and expand them and give more space to one window than to other spaces. You can do that anywhere you see these little gray lines. You can grab and drag and make different windows, different sizes and get it customized just the way you like. So let's say you get it the way you like and you want to keep that layout. What you can do is you can go up to the, the layout, you can go up to the workspace drop down here and you can go down and you can say, save as a new workspace. Now you can name this whatever you want to. My special workspace. Hit okay. And now 
When I pull this down, it has added this to my workspaces. So if I go back to editing, it goes back, it goes back to the way I left my editing workspace, but now I can pull this down and say, reset to saved layout. And now it's back to normal, back to its default. And if I pull this down, I can go to my special workspace and it will remember that. And if you do some fine tuning, adjusting on your, on your saved workspace, you can go down and rather than have to create a new workspace or, or save over it, you can just say, save changes to this workspace. And now those changes have been saved to it. So next time I come back to it, it'll be exactly the way I have it. So you can change your workspaces. You can also delete them by going to edit workspaces and you can select your workspace and hit delete and it's gone. And last thing, if you're working on a dual screen environment, let's pretend here that this single screen is two screens. I'm gonna drag it smaller like that. And let's say that this half of my screen is my secondary screen. And then this one is my primary screen. You can detach these tabs and drag them over to different windows. If you want to have your timeline full screen on your secondary screen, you can basically grab this tab, drag it over, drop it on your secondary screen, and then you can expand that on your secondary screen. Then, then you'll have one screen dedicated solely to your timeline or to your project window or whatever, whichever one you wish to use. So now if I have two screens going, I can move my mouse over to this screen and work on my full screen timeline. And then you can make arrangements over on this screen to get it adjusted exactly how you like it on your on on your primary screen. And then of course you can go up to your workspaces and you can save that, save that as a new workspace. And I could call this dual screen layout and hit okay. So that's basically how the workspaces work within Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks for watching Chin Fat.